Good Friday evening, everyone. It's 21 News. Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here with Weather for Weather Geeks. We'll make it a pretty fast video tonight with fairly quiet weather in the near term. Just some rain chances here and there over the uh, weekend. But today, what a beautiful Technicolor spring day out there. I love spring days that are bright and sunny with deep blue skies and the emerging kind of emerald landscape with everything greening up so fast at this time of the year. It was just, just picture perfect out there this afternoon. What an improvement over the last couple of days. On Wednesday, our high was 52. Today, our high 71 degrees. We're going to finish uh, April. Uh, no doubt above the average, and we'll probably be in the top 15 as far as warmest Aprils on record, probably finishing the month somewhere around 4 degrees warmer than the average. Have you been following what's been going on out across the Plain States? A devastating swarm of tornadoes here over the last several hours, particularly in extreme eastern parts of uh, uh, Nebraska and western parts of Iowa as well. We've had some long track, <clears throat> uh, probably EF3 or higher tornadoes. Of course, storm s surveys will have to be done to uh, determine the strength, but we've had a few uh, tornado emergencies uh, issued. Oh, those, that's kind of the highest end tornado warning that uh, you can find. And these have been, again, long track tornadoes. Let's, let's do a loop of the rotation tracks here. I'm going to take off, actually, the, uh, the warning banner information, so this is a little easier to see. This goes back over the last a few hours. It'll take a minute for the data to load, but you're going to see all these tracks, these rotation tracks, moving from southwest to northeast over the last handful of hours. Omaha has been kind of ground zero. Uh, you don't want to be a meteorologist in Omaha today. They've had their hands full, no doubt. It looks like my data does not quite want to load real fast here, so let's just skip the loop and uh, show you uh, what's going on right now? Because again, this is uh, this is uh, pretty intense stuff. Uh, with this uh, tornado warning in Iowa, in particular, uh, earlier on, this had a a tornado emergency catastrophic tag on it, uh, and so you know the weather service offices and the local meteorologists out here have been dealing with uh, some pretty intense stuff over the last few hours. The severe weather threat will continue. Uh, this evening and overnight out there. No severe weather risks around here, uh, but clouds are increasing and the rain chances will start to increase as we head past midnight tonight. This is actually a warm front heading our way, and this warm front will usher in a summer preview for the weekend, particularly by Sunday. But the first thing it's going to do is bring us a chance for showers overnight. I think the showers are most likely 2, 3 o'clock and after. Might even be a rumble of thunder first thing in the morning. And this will be the wettest part of the whole weekend. First thing Saturday morning. The rest of the weekend, maybe not bone dry in every single location, but most of us will be dry once we lose the morning showers on Saturday. As we get into the afternoon on Saturday, there's you know, a couple little impulses in the upper levels of the atmosphere that are going to cruise across and might just lead to the formation of a stray shower or a thunder shower Saturday afternoon, but it's a low end chance. Most of us won't have to worry about that. If you have outdoor plans this uh, weekend, including yard work or anything else involving the outdoors, once we lose the most consistent shower Saturday morning, you know, just have the Storm Tracker 21 app handy for the rest of the weekend. Check in on the radar occasionally and see if there's anything trying to form nearby. But for most of us, it's not going to be something we have to worry about. I think on Sunday, it's kind of the same idea. Most of the day, of course, rain-free, but there'll be a little bit of a lake breeze development, I think, as we get into the afternoon on Sunday. And that could spark something random and stray and renegade, especially up near I-90. Uh, so think, you know, places like Erie and Meadville and Ashtabula. Those are the places that have the highest chance of a passing shower or a thunderstorm Sunday afternoon. But for most of us, it'll just be a fine June-like day with highs around 80, and we'll be flirting with a record high firmly in this warm sector on Monday. You know, we're talking lower 80s. The record high Monday is 85 degrees. So that summer preview will continue for much of next week. Now, it's not going to be in the 80s every day. We'll have a cold front midweek that trims the heat a little bit, but only back to the 70s. Um, but some interesting things to look at as we get into kind of the middle third of May, I think. I think the first week or so of May is looking pretty darn warm. Uh, but as we get into weeks three and four, so, you know, we're talking closer to May 8th, 9th, 10th. Um, there are some model indications that uh, there's going to be a, a cool shot right around that time. You know, you may not be aware, but in recent times, uh, we've had, we've gotten access to a brand new kind of suite of modeling from the European Center. Uh, this is AI modeling, artificial intelligence modeling. It's run differently than your traditional weather models, which are based on numerical equations. 
the AI is projecting forward based on what's happened in the past. And so it's been interesting keeping an eye on this. Um, it's in its kind of an experimental phase right now, and you certainly don't want to use it as your you know primary source of information. But it's been interesting to look at when it has a different idea than some of the other more traditional modeling. It's had a reputation in recent weeks of sniffing out things in the medium and longer range first before some of the other kind of traditional medium and long range weather modeling. And, and this is something that it's been hinting at right around the 7th, right around May 7th. Pretty deep trough carving into the northeastern US. And so if this ends up being the right idea, I think we might have a, you know, a decent cool shot coming our way right around the end of the first week of May or maybe just after. Um, will it come with a frost threat or anything like that? Uh, it's too early to speculate about that. But it's something we'll be watching, and so we may not run the table with warmth through the first half of May. It may be the first week of May is warm, and then the second week of May maybe not quite as warm if those cooler model ideas end up winning out. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Friday evening. Have a great rest of your night, a great weekend, and we'll have much more geekiness coming your way on Monday on the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video.